Piney Woods Farm. I'm the third generation in this area as a farmer. Felt like cows were the the choice for us because I had an animal science degree from NC State and uh, was always interested in raising livestock. My father bought this particular farm that we live on. After I started my business, we started buying the land back from him to keep it in the family farm to maybe pass on to our kids. It's the environmental aspects of doing it right and rotational grazing and keeping a cover grass growing on the land at all times it seemed to be a benefit to me. We would be building soil, running, letting soil erode away. To be able to keep that in the family, to have it self-sustaining, paying for itself alone. I had a two acre piece right in my backyard that was a pine thicket, so to speak, and it was uh, blocking my view to the rest of the farm, so I wanted to keep the growth down in there, so I kept mowing it, and it was just a chore to keep that mowed. And I would notice that grass was growing in there and I had cows, so it just, it just kind of dug one day. I thought, well, why don't I try growing grass in there and let the cows keep it mowed down? And that's how we got started with silver pasture. Maybe a hundred acres of the farm was in a CRP pine plantation program that it paid you to set the trees out and then it paid you a market rent price for about 10 years on that land. Well, my generation comes along about the time that 10 years is running out. So we have a forest growing on the farm that you have to pay taxes on and you don't have any income coming off of it because it's not big enough to cut yet, but yet it's there and you got to figure out what to do with it. And I felt like if the cows could utilize it, then they would provide the income. And so that's when we started planting grass underneath where all the briars and the bushes were growing and doing nothing for us. And over the years, they've become successful at, at growing a, a grass crop for the cows to eat as well as enjoying the shade while they're in there. Our cows start calving in August and we wouldn't dream of trying to do that if we didn't have silver pasture. It allows us to go to market in June or July of the following year with a heavier calf because he's born in August instead of being born in October or November like we would traditionally have to do if we didn't have silver pasture. So we're able to have a lot heavier calves to go to market at market time and, and get a lot more money for them. It's important that you get the right spacing, that the rows are straight because you want to be able to harvest a row of trees out and that leaves you a nice straight lane to, to grow your grass in. 